the Bureau of Internal Revenue, the government agency responsible for the enactment and collection of taxes in the Philippines, has a total of 124 districts and 19 regional offices throughout the country. One of the most outstanding of which is RDO 32, currently spearheaded by Attorney Armando F. Tria. The Revenue District Office covers the historical districts of Quiapo, Sampalo, San Miguel, and Santa Mesa, Manila. Maraming beses na kita niliyasan Iniwana na ibang Quiapo. pinuntahan Quiapo, which was named after a water cabbage called Cuyapo, that was plentiful on the banks, plays an important role in Philippine history, society and economy as it is home to the Quiapo Church, where the Feast of the Black Nazarene is held with millions of people attending annually. Quiapo has also made a name for itself as an impeccable commercial district for bargain hunting. It is a boiling pot of cultures and spiritual beliefs which can be observed through the items and services being sold along its alleys and tributaries. The Quiapo district is also home to a flourishing Muslim population in Manila. The Golden Mosque and Green Mosque are both located there. Another historical district is Sampalo, or also known by the younger population as the University Belt. It's where majority of the cluster of prominent higher educational institutions can be found. Among the universities in Sampalo are the University of Santo Tomas, the oldest university in Asia, a byproduct of the 333-year Hispanic colonization of the Philippines. Far Eastern University, known for its Art Deco campus and awarded as a cultural heritage site of the Philippines. And the University of the East, once dubbed as the largest university in Asia in terms of enrollment. San Miguel. The San Miguel District, the site of the Dilao, or Japanese colony during the Spanish times, is also home to some colleges and universities that form part of Manila's university belt. Educational institutions that are located in the district include San Beda College, Central Escolar University, College of the Holy Spirit, St. Jude Catholic School, La Consolacion College, Manila, and Victorino Mapa High School. But perhaps the most prominent and most important landmark is the Malacanang Palace, the official residence president of the Philippines. The once swampy isle that may have used as a burial place for chieftains and tribal heroes derived from the phrase May Lakandian, or There are great ones there. Santa Mesa. In Manila, there is a district called Santa Mesa. Varying sources claim the name could have been derived from Santa Mesa de la Misericordia, or Santa Misa, from the Spanish term Holy Mass. The owner of the land during the Spanish colonial period, which was an obra pia, meaning pious work, provided social services. Santa Mesa was most likely a friar land or a land owned by a religious order in the Spanish era. The produce of the land, fruits, vegetables, or fish, for example, are sold and the money obtained is used for the running schools, hospitals, social relief, etc. Extra Delta places like Caloocan, Quezon City, San Juan del Monte, Mandaluyong, Makati, and Pasay owe their present glory to the fact 
that they are beside Manila, the capital of the Philippines. When pilgrims from across the islands as well as from the other side of the world stumbled upon this entrance to Manila Bay, what was born was not only the history of a city but of a Filipino nation. Revenue District Office 32 covers the most crucial districts in Manila. According to the late national artist Nick Joaquin, also known as Quejano de Manila, events that unfold in Manila always have a national impact. When Manila sneezes, the Philippines catches a cold. 